welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i hope you're all doing well if you are new here please do stick around and subscribe i have a very exciting vlog over a couple of days which includes some homeware shopping a big house speed clean and organize and also a giveaway at the end of this video so stay tuned for all of that but before i do get started with this video i just want to firstly thank glossy box for kindly sponsoring this video so i first got sort of introduced to glossy box last month i went to an event with them in manchester and got to try out last month's box of which they very kindly partnered with me on this video to show you what is in the month of july's box so i'm very excited for this because it is the holiday edit so there are five products included within this box of which have a combined value of over 50 pounds but you can get your first box for just seven pounds with the discount code freya30 so i'll leave that down below along with any other information just so that if you need to refer back to it it is all there along with a direct link to head to their website and pick up your subscription they do have one three six and twelve month subscription services so i don't think there's any harm at all in trying it out for your first box for just seven pounds i think it's a mega mega bargain so firstly the packaging is always beautiful i feel like glossy box are iconic for their boxes because you can easily keep these for storage and maybe label them up with like a dymo label printer and use them for like hair grips hair ties beauty products all sorts so this is the month of july's box i'm so excited and there's also a little sneak peek into what is to come in august when you sign up to a subscription service like this, it's obviously a treat every month and it's a little something exciting to look forward to. Don't forget to check out their other socials where they're always providing lots of updates and sneak peeks of what's to come. And they even have a service for those who are subscribed, whereby if you complete surveys that they run, you earn glossy credit that can be saved up and spent on look fantastic. So I'm gonna jump in now and see what's inside because I can't wait. <gasps> So the first thing that I can see on the top is a tea tree witch hazel. I used to love using tea tree witch hazel when I particularly had bad skin. This is a peel off face mask, deep cleans and tightens pores and helps remove blackheads. I actually have in my bathroom a little basket with different sheet masks and face masks so that will go in there for when I'm next ready to use one. We have a jet black blue mascara from the brand Manakadar. Manakadar. I think that's how you pronounce it this is a new brand to me and this is what's really great about subscription boxes is it forces you to try out new brands and who knows you might even end up discovering a absolute staple that you will love and buy for years okay next up we have this i have tried this before and loved it it's a brand called i can never pronounce this brand omoravixa and this is their cleansing foam. This is a 30 mil size, which will be perfect for if you're going away just for like a week or so. And that's really great for cleansing your skin. And then we also have a coconut oil formula, natural bronze body lotion. This is a gradual tan for all skin tones by Palmer's. Love Palmer's, love the smell of it. The size of it is perfect for travel, but it's a decent enough size to really try and test out so that if you did want to go ahead and buy the full size, then you can. And then last but not least, the one I was so excited for is this. This is the Moroccan oil treatment for your hair. This is suitable for all hair types and this is an absolute staple for me. Holiday or not, all year round, I use Moroccan oil for my hair and it's something that I've mentioned so many times in the past. I do put it only in the ends of my hair, but once I've washed my hair, either wet or dry or both, I'll always use some Moroccan oil and it just helps like separate the ends, helps keep it nourished and hydrated. So, so happy I had that. I actually ran out of Moroccan oil, so thank you glossy box so just to prove that this is worth over 50 pounds and you can get it for just seven starting with this face mask with a recommended retail price of 99p then we have the palmers at 199 the moroccan oil treatment at 13 pounds and 45 pence the deluxe sample size for this cleanser is 18 pounds and last but not least this mascara has a recommended retail price of 22.25 so you can do the math you can get all of this for just seven pounds and 
you can just start with a one month subscription. So with that all being said, I will leave all the information down below. It is limited stock as well for this month of July's box. So once they are all sold out, they are sold out. So be sure to be quick if you want to get your hands on your first box for £7. And now let's jump in to this week's weekly vlog. <laughs> Okay, that Danny's gonna end up going for that Arabella on Love Island. What is it? Well, he's still like not ruling you out. He, he said in like an ideal world, if he could get to know both of them at the same time, then he what, would. Have you taken it? Yeah, but he is, he's 20, isn't he? He doesn't know what he's doing. But even the boys were like, look, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. But to be fair, Yuanda has said to him, kind of said, if you have a genuine connection with her and you want to get to know her and see if that is going to go anywhere, then fine. And if it doesn't, I'm still interested. What? I know. I can't believe that she's that well for him. I know. Considering she's 28 as well. Mm. And he's only 20. We could have been I've just nipped in to TK Maxx. I'm going to do like a bit of a come home wear shopping with me. I do just want to say firstly thank you for clicking on this video. If you haven't already subscribed it would mean a lot if you did. I know around about 70% of you guys watching aren't actually subscribed. And I'm already grateful and thankful to each and every one of you 35,000 people. But if you are not one of those be sure to join the fam. Click subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified. Great. It's never at all awkward when someone parks right next to you when you're vlogging. Speaking to a camera, they're like, what the hell is she doing? I'm picking up kind of from last week, if you did see last week's vlog. I got a Nespresso machine, of which I've got a load of capsules for. At the minute, they're still just like sat on our kitchen side in the Nespresso bag. So I want to get my hands on some kind of like glass jar with a lid, maybe with or without a lid we'll see and have them on display next to the coffee machine so that's the main thing that i'm looking out for and then also whilst i am in burnley there is a big the range and also b m bargains so i will probably pop into both of those too just have a browse we had a lovely walk up pendle this morning which is a huge hill near us pretty good workout and there are actually quite a few people doing it if you didn't see last week's vlog we did pendle hill and i vlogged it so i'll leave a little link here if you did want to watch it we're doing that on a regular 
regular basis as like a bit of a bit of a morning workout then we had a nice breakfast which tom cooked for us and who knows hopefully tonight depending on what time he gets home we may pick ourselves up some takeaway let's head on into tk maxx let's do some shopping and i'll take you guys with me idea of a set of four outdoor tumblers and they actually look quite fancy quite like the look of them and they're in the sale at five pounds i think these are the best three glass jars i've found this one is 9.99 this is the one that i actually have in my bathroom with samples in it at 9.99 i think my favorite is this one at only 6.99 i like that there's a bit of a stand i'll put that one in for now see why is that 5.99 and that one is 12 99 Are they not the exact same? I love them cushions, they're very like anthropology. Doesn't really go in our home, but I actually really like this pattern. 12 99 39.99, that's a pretty good price for um, such a big mirror from TK Maxx. This is the brand and the size. Someone asked me recently where you can get like good quality drawer knobs, and I recommended TK Maxx and these ones look just like anthropology. And they are only 6 99 for a set of four. And I love how like each one is different as well. This is a outdoor candle and I love this like distressed kind of effect. I've spied a chunky knit card, not cardigan, throw in the sale, 50 pounds. Still kind of pricey. This is literally me. I always like to stock up with the stationery from here because I think they have some really unique pieces like this tissue paper. How cute is that? I keep seeing this brand in TK Maxx but can't find it anywhere online. So we have King. Let me know if I can get anywhere nice like linen bedding. This is only £4, RRP 20 this is such a pretty set and also quite affordable. £18 down to £6. And the cute little bralette is £12.99 from £30. I think that is really reasonable. So I'm on to fashion now, getting a few things, but I'll show you in the changing room what they look like on. Maybe not these. <laughs> this is everything I've picked up. Oops. I love this. It's like a little linen jumpsuit and it's from the brand Japna, which I, I see a lot of in TK Maxx and I feel like it might be one of theirs. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe not. $16.99 in a medium. This I'm obsessed with from Mango Casual. It is $14.99. RRP $35.99. This is a brand which I've never seen before. Angie in a small. $16.99. This is another one that I've spotted. And it's in the clearance for $11. They had quite a few of these available and I've noticed. Can you see the bleach marks? So I feel like that might be why it's in the clearance. I don't know if it's coming off on camera. Yeah, you can see that. So I'm not sure if I'll bother even trying that on because I'm not going to buy it with that. This is the jumpsuit. It's actually quite cute. Yeah, I like it. I like the linen fabric. It needs an iron, clearly. But I like the fact that it's got pockets as well. I'm just going to cover for modesty. But I do really like this. I think it would be a really pretty beach dress. But yeah, it is obviously sheer. And it has this tie waist detail here. I just need a holiday. 
This is the white dress if you were interested in seeing it on. Very loose, floaty, comfortable. I like the structure detailing here at the top and the ruche bit at the back just to help like cinch in. Very lightweight and comfortable this one. I just remembered that I have one very similar from Debenhams which I wore in Dubai. Okay, so I went for the $6.99 jar. Like I said, it's got that little stand, which I think just makes it look a bit more expensive than just, and also less vase-like. So I'm gonna head on to the range and B&M first, just to double check that there's not one that I prefer. I got this one last time we were here and it smells amazing, but this one sounds good as well. Dried sage, fig leaves, and brown sugar. I think I might get this one. Who's seen it, guys? I'm gonna try and drag Tom down to the cinema because I really wanna watch it. I'll be honest, there's not much in this b and I'm kind of losing love for it a little bit. Only because I feel like I know the stock already. But I did get myself a minky. I take that all back. I've just found a new section. That's cute, $4.99. And then this blush range. That's pretty, little terrarium at $9.99. I don't actually need a doorstop, but I like the look of that one. Rattan Lantern in white, $9.99. That's cute as well if you like navy at $4.99. I'm done that was a quick in and out well I say quick in and out I've been here ages but I've been on the phone to my mum for a while so I just picked up my little minky this is actually the first time I've owned minky I got some toothpaste Colgate Max white I have quite a few questions of people saying do I whiten my teeth I don't but I did used to use the white crest strips but you can only get them in America I think they're about $30 something around that or 30 pounds I also picked up some paper hot drink cups for drinks on the go off to the range now which is just next door but you have to drive to get there and then probably via supermarket but I'm not gonna vlog in the supermarket but I am gonna do some Instagram home story and then highlight them <laughs> that was a long explanation basically my Instagram home account for a Farrington home if you are interested I have started this little supermarket series type thing where every so often whenever I'm in a supermarket I'll snap some of my favorite home items from that supermarket and then highlight them as well so I have loads of different highlighted tabs right the range let's go I like this chair, it's called the Shelby and they do it in grey and pink. $17.99 this and it's massive at $7.99. This might be the closest they've got to a glass bowl and I think the TK Maxx one is better. If you're after fake flowers, they have a really good range that are actually like really good quality. Did anyone used to have these growing up? Or even still now. I always think the range have a really good selection of mirrors and I do think they're quite affordable for the size as well like this one is massive that one's $69.99 and this one is only $39.99 my favorite time to come to the range is Christmas and like Halloween because they have huge sections dedicated to it but this time of the year it's just like mm. All right. I've never really looked at lamps in here before, but that one's nice. And so is this one. I quite like the idea of like an all glass lamp. This one's nice as well. It's very like Ralph Lauren home. I like that. And it's on sale. And these Kensington lamp set. I feel like they'd be nice in like a nice modern house, like in an entrance way. This is usually their seasonal area that I'm in now and it seems to be mostly like barbecues and outdoor stuff. They could not sell that palm, surely. It's like brown. Oh, there's a bee. One last stop, the land where everything is a pound. Well, nearly everything. See, not everything's a pound, but you know, it's still good value. A little bit early for this, but coming soon. If I had a little nursery, I'd love to have one of those little giraffes. I think they're so cute. I love how they've got Mrs. Hinch recommends section. I have never seen these mix-ups before. 
if you're hosting barbecues or like summer garden parties or anything they've got loads of like Tupperware and glasses and party stuff, lights, all sorts. I quite like this pattern. can't remember if I've shown this before in the past, but I love that gift bag. I feel like it's very, you know, current, hashtag Instagrammable. <laughs> As always, a fan of their stationery. <sighs> hashtag good vibes only. I think I'm gonna get these because they look delicious. I really rated this medium roast ground coffee when we tried it, so the fact that I found this one, which is like a five out of five, I'm gonna get that for our filter coffee machine. Because although we've got the Nespresso machine, we still like um, filter coffee. It's actually Tom's favorite, so um, we'll still use that. I'll just close that because Tom's just on the phone so i just got back home we're both pretty hungry now even though it's only about half four but you know we did climb a mountain this morning it's a hill but oh well i'm not going to take the price label off just yet because i just want to make sure it looks all right if you know what i mean so this is it and this is my current situation a messy bag of half opened nespresso capsules Mix them all up a bit. This is the jar of treats. I'm gonna go see where Tom is at, and if he's not ready yet, then I'll show you some vlogger mail new in. Five minutes. Five minutes. Never means five minutes. A couple of little parcels, and then a big one here, which I'm gonna show you first. It's just one item. But a brand, Holland Cooper, very kindly reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to pick something from their website. So there is all their handles and information that you need if you wanted to check it out yourself. The thing that I picked out is going to be one of those pieces that is going to be a keeper forever type piece. And it is like a blazer coat. Well, I'll just show you, shall I? Beautifully packaged absolutely stunning in terms of attention to detail it is a bit of a pricier brand they do a lot of like equestrian gear as well if you are like a rider it's very much country bumpkin kind of brand i'm not gonna lie i got it in a size uk 10 it's the kempton coat it retails for 449 pounds it is gifted no obligation to post or talk about it but i did want to open it up with you guys on camera and just show you the quality I love the fact that the buttons are gold, but also that they're kind of like a brushed gold, so it's not an in-your-face yellow gold. Loxy Tan. This is a selection of products that they've included. This is a Radiance Scrub Exfoliant. I've actually heard that this is meant to be really good. So this is a purifying mask. I love a good face mask, and I have a bit of a collection, so this is going to go with them. And then there are also three lip products this is like a tinted balm and that is in the shade pink calison and then we have two color and vitamin core fruity lipsticks in both provence calling and pink biscottin biscotta signature yellow and that is what the lip balm looks like this is from it says bare minerals on the front rookie error opening it like that bare pro liquid foundation in the shade warm light thank you so much to the bare minerals team this is what it looks like oops that does actually look quite fair i feel like ugh, i've got some of that packaging in my mouth i feel like this might be a shade better suited to me in the wintry months well i'll try it i'll try it and see last but not least in this little unboxing feature we have a whole host of goodies from ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills. Firstly, these two are new in and I am so excited to try both of them. This is the shimmer body oil that they are doing and this is the dewy setting spray. Let me just show you the packaging of this. It is beautiful. In fact, I feel like I need a bit of a spritz of this now. Let's just... 
And then we also got a hero product of mine, one that I love. This is the contour kit. I have had one of these before. This is in light to medium, by the way. And got through this colour so quickly. And the banana shade, actually, for under my eyes. Yeah, banana and fawn. So I've got the Brow Wiz in taupe. The Brow Wiz is like a very fine tip. It's got the spoolie on one end. And then on the other end, let me just whiz it whiz it up brow whiz it up and that is the tip so that's probably my favorite brow product to use is one with like a really fine tip like that then they've also sent me the brow definer it's more of like a triangular shape if you can see that and then lastly for brow products again in taupe is this it's the dip brow gel that is literally the perfect shade for me it's like an ashy blonde kind of color it's a little bit bigger than Gimme Brow. And then, I wasn't expecting these, they sent me three lip glosses, which I didn't know were coming. So, we have these three shades, Dainty, Tara, and Undressed. Tom? I'm gonna go kick his butt into gear, because he said five minutes. You said five minutes. Australian butt. Australian butt. Another ten minutes. Right, I'm going to get some work done then. And then can we get um, two poppadoms with the mango, yoghurt and onions, please? You get two salads with that as well. You should do, shouldn't you, I think? With you get one salad. That's fine. All right, yeah, that's fine. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Bye. Bye. You have a salad with an Indian anyway, Me. to be honest. Yeah. Do you like that thing? Uh, Playing with it. Oh, that's what she said. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm not just these. She does, does she? Mm. Norma, are you watching? <laughs> Tell him I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Oh! <laughs> Spider Man kiss. Oh, no, just a double chin. <laughs> Crackety <sighs> crack. And now we. Oh! Serves you right. <laughs> We're so old. Hair is officially up in a messy bun. Messy, messy bun. Messy bun. Indian has arrived. It literally arrived in. Would you say it was about 20 minutes that? Okay. Maybe a little bit longer. They said 65 minute wait. Butter chicken, poppadoms. What have you got there? Mix. And then chapatis, naan chips. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. The recoupling might be looming, but Tom's facing his own private battle. The agonizing moment just before your tested clays hit the water. And boom! <laughs> it is Tuesday today, and it's one of those days. <laughs> Hair up, comfies on at home day that kind of day and i figured with it being like raining outside and pretty miserable that i was just gonna stay inside and get stuff done so i have a video scheduled in live to go tomorrow which is my boohoo haul if you're yet to see it linked i've pretty much got everything that i needed to get done done and this afternoon is going to be spent organizing clearing cleaning sorting out decluttering all that kind of jazz which i like to watch these kind of videos anyway so i figured why not include it within this vlog i'm going to start with just tidying up first of all this is like my go-to at home type outfit so just a basic white tee which is the same one i wore yesterday and then these are my joggers from victoria's secret which i am a fan of i absolutely love wearing these they're so comfy i usually just slip on my ugg slippers this featured in my home bargains haul recently i think it's about one pound 49 and i use it on a regular basis pretty much daily so big fan of this and so glad i picked it up Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a hopeless place that we're in. But I'm your liability. 
Okay, washing load is now on. And for now, this is gonna be the pile that I'm gonna tackle my ironing pile. I always like to put like YouTube or some kind of program on whilst I'm doing it. I find it's enjoyable and it's a good time to catch up on something that you've missed. First thing I do as well is go through this pile. Not everything in here needs to be ironed. I don't bother ironing underwear and gym stuff and PJs. So I'm just gonna put all of these away now and then that is now my ironing pile. So it's a little more manageable. This is the remaining underwear that I need to put away. And if you didn't see it, I just recently did an underwear haul. I also included a little Marie Kondo style folding method. So if you're into organization and order, then you'll love that video. So I'll leave it linked. Eggs, avocado, tomatoes, rye bread. And here we have my lunch. So I'm gonna enjoy my nice tasty lunch. Then on to some ironing. Okay, so this is yet another area that I want to have a bit of a clear out and sort through. I can't remember the name, but there is an app where you can list the books that you want to sell and they come and collect it. Probably years ago now, was it? Who remembers my monochrome book collection and that I was collecting a load of like neutral colored books? I still like them, but they just take up unnecessary space and I kind of just want to keep the ones that I really love. For instance, there's actually a couple down there that are like the Chanel one, the Tom Ford one, but it's just finding the time and motivation. I think now I'm gonna grab myself a coffee and get on to some ironing, finally. How much have I put on this ironing? So which coffee shall I go for this afternoon? I am gonna go for one of these black strength ones. I think these are 10 out of 12. I'm gonna have it long, so pop that. moments is to you a couple of hours is to me finally finished i even had to get changed into some shorts because i always get so hot when i'm ironing glad to have all of that done <sighs> right on to the next task which is going to be hoovering but before i do i'm going to be so i'm going to have one of these oops one of these rice cakes they are the whole grain low fat unsalted ones organic ones by color i think the brand is and i'm just going to have it with crunchy peanut butter. These are the two products that I'm gonna use. I'm probably actually gonna finish these today. There's hardly any left in this. And then this sounds pretty empty as well. Always like to finish off empty so that I can go buy new ones. Probably in new scents as well, just change things off a bit. So this Blade of the Valley Shake and Back, you just literally sprinkle it on before hoovering. And then this one you spray on after and you can put it on like fabrics and stuff as well. Definitely in the market for a new Hoover as well if you do have any recommendations. So time to get this out now. So everything has been Hoovered downstairs now so I'm literally just going to move this little poof thing shake it up and spread. don't worry it doesn't stay white like that oh my god it smells amazing and then that will all just settle into the carpets and the uh fabrics in there what was that bang scared me so i'm just gonna do all of upstairs now hoovering is now done this is really good i got this from b&m and it's just like a handheld duster of which the the head is removable so once you've finished dusting you can just take the dust a bit off and pop it in the wash with all like your other microfiber cloths that you use for like kitchen and bathroom surfaces 
this flash all multi-purpose all-purpose spray just with microfiber cloth this febreze air spray i think i'm just going to use my it's a flora spray which is just an anti-back well you know what Zaflora is just an antibacterial thing in a spray bottle which i diluted down with water i'm going to go get that in a sec and then this febreze fabric for like on the beds and the sofa this is my Zaflora spray bottle my go-to and this was I think it was about 99p from class Olsen but I'm sure they have some like this in uh, Poundland the one that I've currently got on the go is lavender and I feel like that's quite a nice scent to use throughout the house especially like in the bedroom I don't measure this I just go all in and mix it with some water diluted down it's not even that diluted to be honest and then i'll just go through and spray this on surfaces with the microfiber cloth then just wipe it down and then just any reed diffusers that i have all i do is i just take out the reeds and flip them just to give them a bit of a refresh so my two febreze and we're going with the fabric all over the sofa And then the air, in the air. This front room is a complete mess because I've still got my charity piles like in the middle of the room building up. I'm also gonna bring all my shoes down here and have a big organize, but for now, I'm just gonna dust the surfaces and spritz these two again. And then a bit of the breeze there. Kitchen surfaces, I'm gonna use my Zephora and my all-purpose flash. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just want And then this microfiber cloth is ready for the wash, so I'm just gonna put that in. Oops, just drops a bit. And then new Zephora, not new Zephora, new microfiber cloth and Zephora. And then this smells amazing, so I'm literally going to put it everywhere, even on the cupboards as well. And the handles. Okay, so another cloth ready for the wash. And then that is pretty much what I'll do upstairs in the bathroom as well, and then just this the flora in the bedroom and the duster. The last stage to put everything in the wash along with bath mat, kitchen towel, washing up tab thing, and then some of these Lenore Unstoppables. These are the in-wash in scent boosters in spring. I'm just gonna put a full cap in there. I'm gonna put that on a wash. I'm gonna nip to the gym actually. It's now 10 to five and Tom just called me. He is en route back from where he was today, but he's going straight to a meeting. So we won't be home till about seven, half seven and he's eating. So I can sort myself out for food tonight, which means I'm gonna head to the gym now because then I can get in like maybe 45 minutes on the treadmill. I just like to like, Put on a podcast i've not listened to the sid and l pretty little thing one yet and if i don't have a podcast to listen to i usually listen to my audio book which currently is michelle obama becoming me because there's a big asda right next to it i'm gonna pop in there to get myself some food tonight if you were oh god if you were interested i'm just wearing these cycle shorts which i've had literally for years i think i got these when i was about 14 15 <laughs> they're just from champion and then this nike top is actually one of tom's running shoes well walking well just trainers let's be honest i ain't running one second i'm gonna find something in my little giveaway drawers okay so i've actually got a bit of a selection of things to give away this on this occasion so i'm like lifestyle items we have these 
headphones or earphones I should say from studio I think these retail for about 70 pounds I've also included this daily planner which is the brand Odia Urban Outfitters and I have this in like a marble and love it also this from the peach box I just don't really wear much silver jewelry so I've kept this in the box for a giveaway one day for you guys and today is that day I've also included some lash bits some red cherry lashes and some duo glue and some Kiehl's glow formula skin hydration the Marc Jacobs highliner in gemstone 33 we also have some impress stick on nails and lastly a lipstick by bare minerals in saffron so if you want to win all of those goodies all you need to do is be subscribed make sure you've got that notification bell switched on and then comment down below once you have done along with some form of contact whether it be a email address twitter or instagram handle whichever way you'd like me to reach out to you if you're the chosen winner and thank you so much again for sticking with me and watching this video and i will see you hopefully in my next one bye guys